Example 28. List the different possible families that can occur when a couple has three children. All right, so to do this, we want to create a sample space, and we're trying to think about the experiment itself. If a couple decides to have three children, each child is like an individual event, right? Each birth is an individual event. So we want to draw a space that represents each event. So we'll have a space like one, two, three. And this will essentially list all the you know, different events that are occurring in the overall experiment of having three children. Now, from there, each one of these spaces represents a birth, so this is the first birth. And we'd want to ask the question, if we're sticking with a you know, traditional male-female outcome, how many possible outcomes are there for the first birth? And the answer is two, because it would either be a boy or a girl. Same for the second birth. It'll be two, because it's either a boy or a girl. And same for the third birth, because it's either two, sorry, it's either boy or girl, so therefore it's two possible outcomes for the third birth. Multiplying all these together will give us eight possible outcomes for the overall experiment. This rule that I just used to derive the number of total possible outcomes we'll learn later, the rule is called the fundamental counting rule. All right, so once we know that there are eight possible outcomes, there are at least two major approaches to produce that list of outcomes. I'm gonna teach us the most simple one, which is called a tree diagram. A tree diagram basically works like this. You'll take the first birth, and you'll say, hey, you know, how can the first birth occur? Well, it could occur as either boy or girl. Those are the only outcomes if we assume just boy or girls are possible, right? Now, once you have that written down, the next step of the process is to say, well, if I were to have had a boy, the next child could be what? Well, the next child could be, again, either boy or girl, right? So the second birth can turn out to be either boy or girl. All right, so that's your second birth. But, you know, the first birth could have turned out to be a girl. And again, if the first was a girl, then the second birth could occur as a boy or a girl. So we've listed the possible scenarios that can occur so far, right? If the first birth was a boy, the second one could be a boy or it could be a girl. If the first birth was a girl, the second could be a boy or it could be a girl. Now from here, let's think about it. If the first birth was a boy and the second birth was a boy, then the third birth could be, again, boy or girl, right? But if the first was a boy and the second was a girl, again, the third birth could still be boy or girl. So essentially, these are the branches of the tree, right? And for every birth possibility, there's another set of branches that emerges for the next phase of the experiment. We're going to do the same here. You know, first birth could have been a girl, the second one could have been a boy, but then the third birth could result as either a boy or a girl. And then finally, if it was girl for the first, girl for the second one, the last child could be a boy or a girl. And now you have all the possible outcomes because there are no other scenarios that are uncovered. And the way we finish the list then is to go through this and just trace back what we found. So. It could be what? Boy, boy, boy as my birth. Or it could be boy, boy, girl. Or it could be boy, girl, boy. Boy, girl, girl. So I'm just following the paths, right? From here to here to here. So we have used up that path, right? From here to here to here. We used up that path. From here to here to here. We used up that path. And from here to here to here. We used up all those paths. That's how we got the first four possible families that could occur. Now, what else could happen? It could be girl, boy, boy, right? Girl, boy, boy. So we used up that one. Girl, boy, girl. Girl, boy, girl. We used up that one, right? And then we've used up this whole branch. And then we keep going. Girl, girl, boy. Girl, girl, boy, right? We've used up that one. And then girl, 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 used up that one. Girl, 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 and then we've used up the whole branch. So in the end, the possible outcomes are eight total possible outcomes, like we said there would be. And this is the list of all the different unique families that can occur based on the sex of the child and the position of birth.